I have more stamina and I have uh, my outlook on life is, uh, is a lot better. The minute I started exercising, I started to feel really, really good. Regardless of what my condition or illness is, this is a gift I'm actually giving to myself, you know, the exercise. So it's a great feeling. And you'll thank yourself. All of these people have something in common. They all have chronic kidney disease and are either on dialysis or have had a kidney transplant. Okay, come here. Goodbye. The other thing they have in common is they take care of their bodies by exercising regularly. It's not easy, and for many the biggest challenge is just getting started. But they do it, daily or weekly or whenever they can. In the next few minutes, we'll share their individual struggles and motivations, as well as their common goal, to exercise, to live well, and to feel better. Richard's gardens are his pride and joy. And that's probably, probably what motivates me more than anything else is to, is to keep my yard up. A hemodialysis patient, he just loves to get out in the fresh air and go to work. Gardening isn't just Richard's passion. It's one of the ways he exercises. Another way? His cardio bike. Well, yeah, I'm one of those, if I don't get it started first thing out of bed, I don't, I kind of forget about it. But uh, I uh, get out of bed and I go downstairs and I get on my cardio bicycle and uh, pedal, pedal while watching the morning news. The simple act of walking or climbing the stairs used to hurt Richard until he started exercising on a regular basis. You know, the little aches and pains that you have in your back and your legs and all that, they kind of disappear when you when you're doing exercises, and uh, and just living without them, it, it, little aches and pains, makes a big difference, big difference in my life. Richard says no fancy gym membership is required. You don't have to do complex exercise. Just move, even if you have to bend over and take a handful of pennies and drop them on the floor, which I have done too, and just bend over and pick up the pennies. Richard says he has more stamina now and his outlook on life is better. And exercise is what allows him to do the things he wants to do, like spend more time in his garden. Starting a routine was an uphill battle for Sadia. The hardest thing for me to overcome was to stick to a routine, like having to do it every day. Sometimes I would do it one day, and then I would get so tired because I want to overdo it. A dialysis patient since her move from Liberia years ago, Sidia had her share of challenges. Then a kidney transplant in the fall of 2007 gave her a new lease on life and a new outlook about taking care of herself. She learned that following her diet and the direction of her health care team were only part of the equation. Her doctor encouraged her to exercise. She said, Sadia, if you exercise and keep healthy and do what you have to do, you would do well. And that always sticks at the back of my head. And sometimes I get exhausted. But you know, the more I get exhausted, you know, the better I feel. And so after a hard days of exercise, I'm like, ooh, I feel so good. Sadia started small. She says simple daily walks were the key to getting started. Once she formed a habit, she added more, floor exercises and abdominal work. I tend to take a lot of personal responsibility for myself because I want to feel good. And I realize that when I work with, the med with my medical staff and I do what I'm supposed to do, I feel good. It's still a challenge for Sadia to commit to daily exercise, but she says increased flexibility and energy makes all the hard work worthwhile.
Jane isn't quite as enthusiastic about walking as her two dogs, but since she started, she says she feels like she has more energy. I feel more energized and I feel better about myself, for one thing, and I found I also feel better about other people, too. And I'm, I tend not to be as negative about things. I tend to be more positive. I think psychologically, it just gives me a boost for the day. A longtime diabetic, Jane received a kidney transplant 23 years ago. Now she does her best to keep it and the rest of her body healthy. Her dogs are the perfect incentive to get her out the door every day. Plus, she likes the company. You know, for me, the hardest thing to overcome was just getting up out of the chair and going outside or going and doing exercise. I think I tend to procrastinate, so I would just say I'm going to do this for 10 minutes and that's all I'm going to do. And that really helped me just get out and just do something, just even if for a short time. She found a hidden benefit to her daily walks, quiet time you're on your own and you're thinking other things and thinking about other people so it, it's kind of freeing. Hip surgery and other setbacks have slowed her down from time to time but never stopped her. I recommend just starting small um, if it means going up a flight of stairs or down and just doing that once a day just starting something simple. Simple steps could be the key to experiencing the same kind of energy that Jane has every day. I guess I just I have an overall, all-round better feeling, just, just feel more positive, you know, that I did this for myself each day. Ready? 29-year-old Carrie isn't used to sitting still for very long. Her two-year-old makes sure of that. It's hard to imagine that when she first went on peritoneal dialysis, she couldn't even pick him up. Um, after I got really sick and started on dialysis, I always felt very weak and tired and exhausted. And I got tired of feeling tired. So I wanted to get healthier and be stronger and have more energy so I can, you know, live life, <laughs> chase after this little guy. Carrie knew from experience that exercise would be the key to finding more energy for her son and herself. Because of working out, keeping up with my dialysis, keeping up with the medication, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling healthier, I'm not getting sick as often, I'm not getting exhausted as quickly, um, so I'm able to keep up better with a two-year-old boy <laughs> with a lot of energy, so I'm really, I'm really happy about that. On this day, Carrie plays active video games, a good indoor exercise. She started out walking, mostly at the malls with her husband at her side. She says he's her best motivator. He's been a real strong supporter of, hey, let's go walking, you know. Um, so I owe him a lot. <laughs> and now, whether she's boxing, walking, stepping, or running, she's made exercise a part of her daily routine. And once you start to do one habit that's good, you, you notice that it, it's contagious. It spreads into other parts of your life, too. You start to eat better. Your, your um, attitude is better. You know, all, all these things get affected by just this one activity. And for Carrie, keeping up and staying up is what it's all about. Lifting weights and getting back into shape was not part of Roger's plan. He said it took some coaxing. As my wife, ideal. They said I should get, lose some weight and build myself up. And my wife bugged me enough times that I finally decided to say okay. Roger admits he used to sit around a lot. A diabetic and hemodialysis patient for more than a decade, Roger is waiting for a transplant. He knew he needed to strengthen his body to get ready. And as he started exercising, he realized additional benefits, like extra energy, lower blood pressure, weight loss, muscle gain, and increased mobility. You get a goal to do something, and you want to go out there and do it. 
Those benefits enabled him to help at home more, which in turn made him feel better about himself. I feel more alive at home now. Yeah, more fun. He admits that lifting makes him sore, but he says it won't stop him from working toward his goals. My goal is to walk a block and walk back a block. I want to get, I got no feeling in my feet, so it's hard for me to walk. Roger doesn't know when his kidney will come, but he says he'll continue to exercise to be ready when it happens and enjoy life in the meantime. Eight-year-old Lom is oozing energy. He's always been active in his community, musically inclined, and played lots of intramural sports. He'll admit peritoneal dialysis slowed him down a bit, but not by much. Once becoming sick, you feel like you've lost something, and so you know it's something that you'll do anything to get back. So to be healthy, to be active again. Lam knows quiet time, too. His exercise routine consists of yoga, stretching, and floor exercises several times a week. One, you definitely have a lot of stamina. Um, two, you have a lot more strength than you did, you know, just lying in a bed in the hospital. And then three, your mentality, you'll feel a lot better about yourself, you know, just having more stamina, more strength, and then your outlook will just generally be more optimistic. Lam says now even though he has this disease he's still able to do the things he wants to do. It's that satisfaction feeling of that you know you worked out and you're, you're sweating and you know that you're building up your own energy. So it's a great feeling. And if you want proof that exercise gives you an energy boost just watch Lam. With tennis shoes tied and music on, Judy starts to walk. She's always enjoyed exercise, and since she started hemodialysis 30-odd years ago, she's needed it. It seems to be that right after I exercise, I have more energy. She tries not to overdo it and takes occasional breaks. It's just doing something more than what you're doing now. But says it simply makes her feel better. The benefits I've noticed from exercising would be that I sleep better at night and I seem to just physically have more energy. Judy understands the struggle to start. Walk around outside a little bit, get some fresh air and it doesn't have to be a 5k run. Just, you know, just get out and walk and just get out and move a little bit according to your needs and according to your abilities. Judy is also the chairperson for the Network Consumer Committee. She'd like everyone on dialysis who doesn't currently exercise to think about what they like to do and how it can be part of a regular routine. Now that you have seen what some patients are doing for exercise, we are hoping that this will inspire you to think about yourself. What do you like to do? How could you incorporate exercise into your weekly schedule? Take control of your health in this way and start feeling better. Take care. No matter what kind of activity you choose to do, or the reason or method for your dialysis, exercise can help. You've heard from seven people who've learned the many benefits of exercise will change your life. <laughs>